Hey, what up and welcome back to the channel. This channel is all about where I share tips and tricks that have helped me get better along the way. And today what I'll be going over is going over how to EQ a vocal. EQ is a tool that we use to boost and cut frequencies to help you get a balanced mix. So with that said, let's dive in. So you got a song. I light them up, I'm taking names, I break the wall, I keep your flames, I'm savvy when I touch the pavement, I like. So the first thing that I recommend that you learn how to do is you learn how to listen. And what I mean by that is you don't want to boost and cut a bunch of frequencies that are going to destroy your mix. Now what you're also going to want to do is you're going to want to learn what your EQ actually does and how to use it. Now the Fruity Parametric EQ this is going to have your seven bands. You have your sub range, you got your bass range, low mids, mids, high mids, presence, treble. Down at the bottom, so that way if you're speaking numbers, you have your numbers down here at the bottom. So one of the other really cool things about uh, the Fruity Parametric EQ is if you hit this little headphone guy uh, and hold shift, if you hit play, I light them up. I bring the wall, I give you flames, I'm savvy when I It allows you to hear everything in solo, which is really, really helpful, especially when you're first learning. It'll help you learn what bad resonances are, things to cut, what to look out for. Uh, it's very, very helpful. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take you through what I generally boost and I cut. So if I want my vocal to be open, if I want it to have a little bit more brightness, some shine, it's going to be uh, usually a shelf anywhere between about 5 and 10K. So the thing about it is when you do boost in this area, you do want to make sure that you pay attention to sibilance. So that's going to be your S's. The S's are going to start popping out a lot of the times when you boost in these areas. So here's an example. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the wall. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pain. Okay, so the savvy really, really popped out. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the wall. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pain. So the vocal, yes, it sounded more open, uh, but the S is start popping out. To counter that, what you want to do is you want to add a de -esser, or you can also make a narrow cut uh, somewhere in about the five or 6,000 area. Just got to find the, the S that's really popping out, that frequency. Moving on, uh, generally like the four and the 3,000 area, I watch out for a lot of harsh frequencies in that area as well. Um, occasionally you may have to cut 2000 area. Sometimes you may need to add presence to, you know, a vocal and that can bring what you want. Um, otherwise there's also harsh frequencies as well in that area. So you may want to cut those, uh, cut those out. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the wall. I give you flames. I'm sad. So as you can tell, it makes it a little bit softer on the ear when you, when you dip that but you obviously don't want to dip it too much because you'll be left without presence on your vocal. The 1000 area is going to be where a lot of, if you have a nasally vocal, uh, that's where going to be where that lies. All of this also is dependent on the vocalist. Sometimes you got a vocal that just has a lot of harsh frequencies. And then, you know, if the, the mic's not, or if it's just not recorded well, uh, depending on the source it was recorded, you could also end up with, you know, a bunch of harsh frequencies as well. But generally, this area is going to be where a lot of nasal frequencies are. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the wall. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light them up. I'm taking names. See, and if you notice, it clears it right up as soon as you start dipping. Moving on, uh, the next trouble frequency for me is going to be 5600. That's going to be where the boxiness lies for me. So if you hear this, it sounds like somebody's speaking into a box. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the wall. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. And then once again, it clears. Um, occasionally as well too, you may need a boost, uh, sometimes in the seven or 800 area. Um, at least I find sometimes, a vocal just may not be thick enough. And sometimes depending on the, the vocalist, you could end up needing to boost in that area. A lot of the times it could be a frequency that's, uh, left alone. 
And coming down uh, below the 500, this is going to be, uh, I would say the next area is 400. You definitely want to watch that as well. Uh, this can go back and forth. It could also definitely clear up a vocal. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I talk. So do pay attention when you start cutting uh, below here as well. Do it by taste. Do it by, by ear. Now, going like to the 300 area, that's going to be where you, you can add body to, uh, to your vocal. If the vocal has too much body, though, this is where you'll want to dip. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy. When and then below that, you got your, your 250. 250 occasionally I'll have to boost too if I don't have enough uh, low end in, in the vocal there. And then uh, going below that, 200 to about uh, 125. Generally, I don't boost too much in those areas. I do more cutting than I do boosting in those areas. And then I'll finally have like my sub area, which most vocals, unless I'm maybe doing a podcast vocal or something, maybe I'll boost at like 95 to 105. But generally, if I'm trying to fit a a vocal into a mix i'm not usually boosting uh between the 95 and the and the 105 but that's generally the area so definitely you just gotta watch the low end uh make sure that you know you gotta remember that when you're messing with the frequencies you're basically unbalancing the vocal so your goal is to have a balanced vocal so what i'm going to finally do here is i'm going to go ahead and give you an example here and show you what I did to the vocal. So this is uh, without processing, and then I'll show you what I did with a little bit of processing. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm. And then this is with processing here. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. Basically, what I did to get to that place is the first thing that I went ahead and I did is I DS'd the vocal here uh, because there was a lot of sibilance. So I DS'd it. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I. So from about 6,000 to 14K, I did about almost 4 dB of gain reduction. The next thing that I went ahead and I did is I cleaned up the vocal. I did a high pass filter. Uh, generally, with a high pass filter, you're going to probably be anywhere from about 80 to 130 hertz. You always got to keep in mind, too, if you have a female vocal, that's going to be about 10 hertz higher. Me, I probably am generally be between i would say 85 to 105 just depending on the vocal depending on the track if it needs more cut uh, maybe because there's a lot going on maybe because there's less going on so you need to do less so it's definitely comes down to taste and what you want to do to make it fit so but that was the first thing is i went ahead and i did the high pass filter i light them up i'm taking names i bring the war i give you flames i'm savvy when i touch the pavement i light them so you can see that it just uh, cleans up that that low end that we need nothing in. Uh, the next thing I went ahead and I did is I wanted to clean up the vocal just a little bit more so that way it fit in the mix a little bit more. So I dipped out uh, 200. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. So, and that also brings the vocal a little bit more in control so it's not all over the place. And to clean up the vocal a little bit more, I dipped, uh, it looks like about 445. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light them up. Okay. And then I found some uh, sibilance here in the 3000 area. So I went ahead and I dipped that. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. And as you can see, it, these two were a little wide. So, and then finally, I went ahead and I felt I wanted just a little bit of brightness. So I uh, boosted it with a shelf at about 6K. And then I did find some uh, sibilance there. So I went ahead and I cut that out.
So I'll show you the boost. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the. So and then with the cut. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light them. Okay, so that was my first EQ. Next thing I went ahead and I did is I just uh, compressed the vocal just a little bit so that way I could get it under control. So this is uh, with without the EQ or without the compressor. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. Savvy when you touch the pavement. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I so it's a little bit more in control. And then when I had an idea with my second EQ here, I made a little bit more drastic of cuts. So what I went ahead and I did here is with uh, this, I went ahead and I did a shelf at almost 300 to kind of clean up uh, the vocal just a little bit here because I just felt that there was still too much uh, junk here at the bottom. So this is without. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. So I went ahead and I took that out. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. So that brought the vocal just a little bit more in control as well. I went ahead and I did a little bit of a boost. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm so that was right at the 304. Uh, so that way I could give a, a little bit more body. I ended up making another cut here at 500 to get rid of a little bit of the boxiness here. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. So this is without. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. Okay. And I went ahead and I did uh, another boost here at 5K. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light. Okay, and then I went ahead and I did a narrow cut here. Not too narrow, but. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light them up. I'm taking names. Uh, the next thing I did, there was still some sibilance that was bothering me. So I went ahead and I added another de -esser. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. So this is without. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pain. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pain. So got it a little bit more under control. And then finally, uh, with the saturation knob, which is the free soft tube uh, saturation plugin. I went ahead and I just added a little bit of high saturation, which wasn't much, but it kind of smoothed everything else out. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. And then without. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. Okay. So really it just uh, smoothed everything out there. So now the track fits a, a lot better here in the beat. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. So and this is what it was like without all the processing. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. So the vocal was a little out of control. It wasn't as clear. So this is with the processing one last time. I light them up. I'm taking names. I bring the war. I give you flames. I'm savvy when I touch the pavement. So at that point, what you can do is you can just add, you know, if you want to add some reverb, some delays, you know, whatever that you want to add to uh, thicken it up, you can still you know add some more saturation if you want to uh, if you've happened to find any other frequencies uh, but that's basically generally what i'll do to eq vocal here 
All right, so if you'd like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer it. Other than that, we'll make her signing out. Peace out.